What's up everybody, uh, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys on how to download Windows 10 using the uh, Windows Media Creation Tool. Uh, now I'll have a link to uh, this in the uh, description so you can uh, navigate uh, navigate over to this website and then download the tool uh, depending on, on the um, Windows version that you have. So if you have Windows 7 or Windows 8 in 32-bit thir version, then this is the one you got to download. If you had in 64-bit, then that's the one you got to download. And uh, once you download the application, it looks something similar to uh, what I'm able to see here. Uh, now the purpose of this tool is that you know if you want to either uh, upgrade the Windows 10 right away, right now. Um, without waiting in that queue that you've been put into, then this is this is the best tool to uh, go by uh, and doing that. Um, if you want to create an installation media for another PC, then this is exactly where you need to be. Um, this is uh, what I'm hoping to uh, show today to you guys on how this works. I'm not looking to upgrade the PC right now because my uh, Windows update is actually happening in the background. Uh, already, uh, so I mean I don't really have to worry about uh, you know pushing myself, pushing the computer um, into getting Windows 10 right now because it, it is already happening. Since reservation was confirmed, uh, download is in progress, um, and we can also view the download progress. It's checking for it, and uh, it is then going to you know once it finds it, it will start updating Windows. Uh, sorry, it will actually download the Windows uh, ISO on my PC, and I'm then able to uh, update it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to skip this this part and we're going to focus on this here itself. So we are trying to create a media disk, either a USB or a DVD disk using uh, this Windows Media uh, Creation Tool. And then we can install this onto another PC or, or install it onto this PC. Uh, so we're going to click on Next uh, and then it's going to ask us for what Windows do we uh, want. And so I'm going to go ahead and choose English United States um, and we're looking for Windows 10 Pro. And this is going to be 64, or you can get both, whatever whatever you prefer. I mean, I'm I'm just going to stick to 64 bit and click click next, and you should be then able to choose either a USB drive or uh, an ISO file, which will then be used to burn onto your uh, DVD drive. Uh, you need to make sure that uh, your DVD uh, your DVD disc does have 4.7 uh, gigs worth of capacity on it and that it's never been uh, burnt previously so it needs to be a brand new copy of, of the DVD disk that you have and you simply need to click next this is the me method that I'm going to choose uh, simply because you'll be able to keep the disk for a longer time and you won't be able to erase the data from it as with the USB I will then have the option to erase the data from it in future and therefore won't be able to keep a solid copy so I'm going to choose this and click next uh, it then presents you with this where you're able to save a copy of uh, the Windows ISO onto your uh, personal uh, desktop or anywhere else. So it could be a document wherever you have uh, enough space. I believe this is around 4 gigs worth of download. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. It will then start downloading my Windows for me now, which will be saved onto my PC. And, and once this is done, you'll then need to insert your disk and follow on-screen instructions on burning that ISO onto uh, a brand new uh, empty DVD disk. And once you do that, you'll be then able to use that disk uh, to uh, run the setup from it, uh, which will be, again, uh, similar to exactly what we've seen initially whenever I launched this application. It will tell you either to upgrade the Windows or uh, do a fresh copy um, of Windows installation. The fresh copy will erase all your data, uh, so bear that in mind. Uh, what I would advise is if you are trying to, uh, if you don't care about your data being backed up or you already have a copy of your data backed up elsewhere, then go ahead and do uh, that fresh uh, setup of Windows. If you want to retain your information, your files, uh, your applications, then I would advise clicking on Upgrade to Windows 10 now, where it will simply update the Windows and leave your files intact. Wish you guys all the best with this. I'm not going to sit here and have you guys on the video uh, for as long as it takes to download that uh, Windows ISO. I believe it can take up to uh, several hours depending on the bandwidth you might be running on. As you can see right now we haven't even hit past 0% so I'm just going to skip this uh, st step ahead and uh, advise you guys on, on, on how to do that as mentioned previously. Um, I hope this video help, helped you guys uh, in getting your Windows 10 installed onto your PC uh, and if it does please share 
uh, make sure to hit that like uh, like button also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in future if, if you have any questions just leave a comment down in the comment section below I'll try my best to get back to you guys as soon as possible peace out